friends so welcome back to the channel this is Jan with Jan happy planning thank you for joining me for another video and today I have for you my new setup for the year 2022 happy new year to you and your family I hope you have a beautiful well I hope you had a beautiful time over the festivities Christmas and the end of the year and that you are all charged up for 2022 I certainly am. I have a lot of ideas, but I am still very confused because I want all the things, but I do have a lot of things. So this is the video. I was, I'm still planning on getting a few things and I'm going to explain, explain to you why, um, or give you the idea of why I want to, um, buy extra things that I could have bought a few weeks back but I didn't. Um, I have this notebook um, that I am using for brainstorming. Actually I started, I'm going to give you a quick, a quick peek. Um, I had it, I was studying in it and I started doing some gardening planning in it and this was officially Officially, as in right, putting it on paper, was the 23rd. I think this is October, but it might be November. I'm not sure. Well, this is Black Friday. There you have it. Um, I missed the two pages, so this goes like this. I lay this because I I wasn't I was still playing uh, still playing around with what I wanted to get for. Um, as planners and I did made a couple of purchases on this day and but I wanted to try the layout see whether I was really content with it and whatnot but officially I think it's in January that my first spread has been published I will share that on the windscreen uh, not windscreen we're not in a car on the screen um, so um, starting now 2022 a year have has passed since i started planning i haven't done um exceptionally well as i intended it at the beginning but um I've, i'm doing very well so i think i have to give myself some grace so for 2022 pl uh, planner lineup this is what i have i have a big planner uh, which I have turned around these guys and I have already uh, taken out January, February, March and April and I do have a few uh, sheets here that I still have from uh, last year so I have my calligraphy I was planning on getting the calligraphy one but I have extension packs or yeah or whatever you call it I have big and I have classic size so I should not get another planner unless it costs five five dollars I will so this is my this is the rest of the year because this is a, an 18 month planner so I am not going to get any more I have to and I'm going to do it now in front of you um, I have to redo a few things. I want to redo this. Uh, so this also comes. Let's do this. And then we have November. And what else I have here? Okay, I have some Christmas stuff which I'm going to leave here for the time being because it has the uh, red discs and this is my only um, folder that is big size so I'm going to I'm going to keep this here for the time being I'll, I'll, I'll migrate that a little later this is my Christmas uh, setup which is highly likely going to change next year um, so this is let's see where is that page here so we have the other side of October it is in these discs because these discs are from Craftelier and they only have 
um, eight, eight discs, nine discs, I can't remember. Um, this is an extension pack. Um, the um, Miss Maker, uh, which has the uh, checklist. This is already a bit chunky. These discs, by the way, are bigger. So um, I will have to get some um, expanded discs for the actual planner because as you can see here, this started in July. It started here and then we have August, September, October, November and I have finished with December. I miss only one day on the smile a day with Dozy and I think I'm going to continue it in my main planner which is this one. Now I don't want to talk about too much because I'm going to do an after the pen video in here but as, as I had mentioned I keep that because this still has another year to go. I just took four months which are here. Um, this has another um, year to go and look how thick it is already uh, and that's with our extra pages so I'm going to put these guys back I have a uh, um, protector sheet here for something that I might come up with and then okay I don't need these guys here because this is the previous year but I do have 2022 so I'm going to take this one out sorry about that and it will I presume there he will. okay I don't know that What did I do with it? Are they already here? They are. No, this is the one that's here. Oh man, what happened? Here they are. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so we have the end of the year there, and then we have. Uh, have to take July there but because it's a uh, 18 month plan so so we have December and this is January 2022 to April and then to December and that's the very start which is July 2021 but it will not have that it will have Where is my January? I put it back here, didn't I? Which is the last December. So, sorry about that. It's such a mess when you have to um, migrate things from one to the other. So we start with uh, that, then the year at a glance, and and then a perpetual calendar and January currently and this is January <clears throat> sorry about my froggy voice I still have the remnants of a cold and that's it so this is my uh, main planner which is as I'm going to call it now or or not I could still call it catch-all is my home planner so anything that's home related is going to be here i wanted to i went through so many ideas so many ideas i actually thought of uh, using a classic vertical for anything that was home and garden but i it was going to end up being like six different um uh, planners and i said no that's um I can't do that. I know that it's going to be difficult. So this is how I'm going to do 
home and cattle, self-care, gratitude, social media, junk journaling, and budget. And there are already many. But why I'm doing this? Because I already have them. I was subscribed. I'm still subscribed, but I think I'm going to uh, finish uh, with the one in March, only because it's um, my birthday in March, with Archer and Olive. So I have um, a few products from Archer and Olive, and that's why I didn't get any more um, Happy Planner products, because I also have Happy Planner products that are unused. They are undated, though. So... Um, I do want to have a set of goals on each one. So each one ha will have their own goal. So home and garden or home related is going to be here. And I'm going to put my goals in there. So it's going to look like this this year or until I change my mind. I already have a couple of um, cardstock that I might use to uh, create a new uh, cover. Uh, so I'm going to have this guy split into anything I, that is home related, um, appointments, um, garden work, any home projects, um, even sewing projects, because I thought of actually getting the um, Miss Maker sewing um, planner, which is a classic size, vertical, uh, no, sorry, it's a... Um, a dashboard and I'm so wanting to use the new dashboard uh, but I what I'm going to do is later on I'm going to get the undated ones and just keep them here with me and then choose them for next year uh, so then we have self-care self-care self -care is going to be for tracking anything that it's health habits exercises um that will help me feel confident fit and healthy now um self-care it's an introduction this year i want to take care of my body my mental health um it's not necessarily uh something about losing weight i just want to feel better i actually had um, my migraine um this past year um was a lot more than previous years and i started developing certain food allergies and um, that really kept me uh, feeling awful so i want to change that i need to make some changes and i want to track those changes um, I also want to introduce gratitude. I think gratitude, as Mary Ellen has pointed out very many times, it is important. It will change your attitude. And also in the times we're living, uh, I find that there is a lot of negativity up there. And I am a sponge for that. So um, I want to find a way of stopping that negativity by being grateful so <clears throat> for that that i am sure of i'm going to be using this beauty so it's my first horizontal layout this is marble designs by brandy brown and um, it's just beautiful so i haven't opened it because i wanted to uh, do it here and since it comes with Oh, a little bit of glue unfortunately it's always on the uh, on the cover and uh, there's always a little bit of goo in there and then we have this side it never really comes off clean but I like to keep these things in case and definitely these ones you can do things with this so I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to show you very quickly um, because I'm I'm filming this on the on Sunday the 2nd of January I have already written a few things that I want to do there and I actually changed make your dreams happen this is actually very good for goals because that will inspire you for your goals so this is the layout and this is my uh, landing page or name page then we have 22 23 perpetual calendar um 
I was actually toying with the idea of moving completely mini, but um, I still have a lot to learn. So there's my January. It's so neutral, apart from tiny polka dots in the middle. I'm sure you have seen it before, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, um, so that's the layout for the monthly and this is the weekly. I didn't want to get a classic size or even a big size because um, I don't know how much I want to write. I don't want it to be a chore. And it already happened to me with, I'm going to show you which one. It already happened to me with this one, Live Life Well. It's a beautiful cover um, and it's a wellness layout. Um, so you will have prompts. Uh, so you will start something like this and you put the week off and then each day you have one uh, page um, for so each sheet will have two days um, for you to write entries so you see this and you feel like you need to fill in the entire space or at least that's how so I'm going to keep this or I might keep it, uh, give it away um, because I do not know what I want to do I might want to um, introduce this again next year or after um, I finish what I um, am thinking. So this is the wellness that I thought um, it overwhelmed me. So I think that if I keep my gratitude separate each day, have a few words, I think I love it. So I will have that as my gratitude. So we're going to... Um, cross gratitude and we have home already which is the catch-all and is the big happy planner now we have self-care social media junk journaling and budget budget is the one that i have to order because i want to keep budget mini i do have the extension pack somewhere here i have a couple of extension packs um I have also the recipe. I think the recipe is going to change to something else. I can't find my... Uh... Here it is. So I still have a couple of months. What I'm going to do to utilize this, um, I have up to December. I haven't filled in December completely, not even November. So what I'm going to do is backtrack um, I will log into my account and because what I really want to um, use this for is uh, keep track of my expenses and do a pie chart at the end of it, in this case December. Um, and then I will start anew from January, but with the mini, which is actually on sale. I say mini because I can keep these in my handbag now a lot of people have the on the go which is the um classic mini but i find the classic mini um i only have a notes uh quite narrow and um it's actually for my uh, my handbag even though i i got a new handbag uh, everyday handbag it's a little bit bigger but i i actually like this size so <clears throat> i'm going to keep um a couple of months of um, budgeting here from the budget mini uh, planner so we have gratitude there social media we mentioned budget so budget is not here but that's what's going to happen um, social media now this is my issue I have this beautiful I just put it here Arch and Olive A5 and it's uh, craft uh, paper it's very thick it's beautiful and it came uh, with this um, cover and then the latest one I received is this beauty now it's 
there is some sparkle. I do not know. There is some cut hair. Uh, there is some sparkle of it on it, and it's just so gorgeous. It's 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 a linen, and it feels so well. No, my favorite is blackout. The best part. Look at this gold. It's gorgeous, and it has a pen loop which I love, and of course it has a pocket at the back. A considerable size pocket for your uh, the things you want to um, put in there and it came with four sheets of uh, dec two decorative and two functional um, sticky sheets so we have ideas goals creative spark my why gratitude list quick thoughts big plans dates and so on and i love it but i think because and this is the calendar i'm going to put these guys here um this is the calendar so it comes up to june so we have six months apparently we have six months here right uh, this is 40 um sheets so I really need to divide this. Well, if I want to do um, my social media here or whether I want to do social media here. Um, if I don't, I mean, if I do keep social media here, then in July I can change, which is not a bad thing, right? Um, the other thing is junk journaling. So, junk journal, social media, social media, junk journal. That's the thing. By the way, the junk journal is not going to be shared. Junk journal is going to be for me, where um, it's not part of the job of creating YouTube, YouTube or instagram content is I'm, i might share a flip through let's say at the end of the month um but i will not be um creating content as in the process of creating the spreads i want to have uh, my mind free of um no rush of uh, having to explain my process while i am working my process so i think junk journaling is going to be only um going to be shared in this case it's going to be done for me uh on my own time without you know oh i have to do a spread this sunday or next sunday or um this saturday i'm going to do two spreads so oh, i have time for this week and next week that kind of thing so it's 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 not going to have that rush um it's going to be just for me and but is it going to be this one or is it going to be this one this one will give me probably a year's worth if i do social media here and if i do it here it's six months and then i can do something else now that is the question um, because i think i have put january already here i can do this I can keep this guy here, use some, um, I do have beautiful black and I think I can write on it, um, washi tape. So I can do that and use these sheets because I'm, I'm not sure how to use these sheets. So um, I'm interested in seeing what the Archer and Olive, um uh, creative team have used this I haven't checked that out but that that is an option um, I'm sorry this is very unclear and I will probably um, this is going to hopefully be a short video of a, a, my lineup for 2022 or at least half of the year I don't think I'm going to be changing too much after July because I want to really use my 18 month planner now after that i don't think i will go for another 18 month planner unless it's on sale 
um, but I think it gives me a better opp opportunity to, um, if I see something I really um, think it's in tune with uh, myself, um, I would I would change it. So I think uh, if I start a new every January, I think it would be more than enough. And that is another thing that which is for another video, which is my um, my word of the year. And I'm going to tell you all about it on my next video. But it it sort of um, it is wrapped around wrapped around what I'm telling you at the moment. So um, so we have one for um, junk journaling and one for social media. Now these little ones that I have shown you here, which came in um, an extension is it an extension an accessory pack for the mini um this is the wild style because it's one week in one sh um yeah in one sheet because at the back of the sheet is it's just um dot grid blank uh, you can write whatever you want i think i keep one uh to keep me track of uh here which is I want to call it on the go, but it's not really go going to be on the go until I have my budget. And I will do, uh, put some of these guys, let's see, January, it shouldn't be the first one. I don't think I'm going to keep everything here because I think I'm going to take from July out and uh, when the um, budget comes, I'm going to put probably three months um, because if you have to look back, three months is not too bad. And then I'm going to do, uh, let's see. I don't know let's put a few just to fill it up i do have some um in here actually i have brainstorm i have this one but this is a christmas one i cannot use that i only have one i'll have to make another one and i'm going to get probably from here this much is not bad too much and I'm going to put this guy here and probably have my budgeting section at the back um, because I find that if I'm having coffee with my husband um, in um, at the back, um, it's um, at the back. I mean, on the sofa upstairs. Uh, it it will be easier for me to um, to put things on. Um, you know, taking out my receipts and writing them down. So it just says brainstorm, but it's going to be for social media. <clears throat> I can quickly and I'm not going to decorate this it's going to be very functional uh, what has to come out uh, each day or um, what I've used that or the hashtags things that are related to at uh, the posts and that because I do it all, all on my phone um, so this is going to be helpful um, because it's more portable now these guys I'm not going to put them back in discs because I find that pulling and putting and pulling again it um, distorts the punched holes and sometimes I don't like that um, I'll put this away in a safe place later now I do have and this is another issue I do have this was my first which I still love I think it's beautiful um, I, I love both colorful and neutral um, 
it depends on the color i i i don't really like a lot of black um so um this is not bad but this is actually from um the cat lady um which the cat lady has finished even though i uh, switch halfway through uh, something else uh, which is the big this big one that I started in July and I have to say I think after I've used my big planner I'm not saying that I will not use it but I think if I do use a big planner it will be more for journaling um, and if you want to know an idea or the idea where that comes from is Mary Ellen Mary Ellen uh, from planning with Bumble, she uses a big vertical for her journaling, and I think it's beautiful if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think I'm more of a classic size and a mini size for on the go. Um, classic size, I think afterwards I will include a uh, uh, one specific classic size planner for my uh, social media but again this or this will also alter um, my uh, it will influence me if if I do like how I plan on these notebooks I will probably stick to it but I do love the fact that you can you know um, this I will have to redate um, they are not dated here, but the monthlies are dated, so I will probably get rid of that. Um, this is what I love from uh, the discs system, and this is why we still do it. So I do have this one that, again, um, could be for um, my self-care, because we have the gratitude, we have the social media, and we have the junk journaling budget is coming so i think i might actually use this for my self-care and it's already divided into three sections and um it's not going to be um, because i cannot franken plan i could include it in my big planner of course i could include one uh one week at a time um that is not an issue a whole month is going to be make it a bit awkward to be writing um if i if i choose to write uh, or when i have to write uh in my weekly um because i don't have a dashboard uh, or a divider that is thick enough that can um keep me without you know all those bumps in between this size and this size so um, this is why it's probably going to stay um, I will probably put this one in my bedroom because at the end of the night um, I will come back and annotate um, everything the, the walks I did the exercises I did the um, food I ate and any symptoms that I might have gotten from those foods because I really, really need to pay attention to what I eat. Not so much for um, weight gain, but actually as allergies and that kind of thing. So this is going to be my self-care. This is going to be my junk journal I think I'm pretty sure that's going to be that way my social media my gratitude and um, social media sort of um, inbox and anything else I want to write and budget when it comes and my catch-all, which is everything to do with my home, my garden, my appointments and my husband's appointments and any other things that encompasses uh, my home, including projects and trips and that kind of thing. So this is my lineup. I'm sorry it took this long. I know it's very long. I'm going to 
put them this way and get rid of my uh, brainstorming brain dumping notebook um, this is how it's looking um, even though these guys should go inside I'm going to have dedicated videos for setting up each one of them I actually love the box I'm keeping the box for when it's finished they will go back there and that's the rest of my planner and this is it I manage five well it's more than five it's six one is a name in the waiting but because they are not I'm not being able to uh, Franken plan for next year it will be much easier um, oh and I have forgotten I still have these guys so um, two of them I haven't opened these are also Archer and Olive um, these are the A6 and um, this is craft paper each one is different this is white and I believe this is blackout um, that's from a previous box so this is why <laughs> um, I I, um, I didn't want to really go crazy with the sale uh, at the Happy Planner. I'm only getting the budget in because it's already laid out, and um, I think I could use I could put better use to these ones the following year, or I can give these guys up. Um, uh, we'll see. But in any case, I thank you so much for your patience if you have made it this, this far. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will catch up on my next one. It will probably be this for setting it up. Bye.